In managing patients following a return of spontaneous circulation, ROSC, prompt post-cardiac arrest care should be initiated. This care focuses on four key areas, blood pressure support, immediate catheterization, targeted temperature management, and the role of full-body imaging post-resuscitation. 1. Blood Pressure Support For patients with systolic blood pressure below 90 mm of mercury or mean arterial pressure under 65, consider blood pressure support. Initially, administer 1 to 2 liters of intravenous saline or lactated ringers. If blood pressure remains low, consider vasopressors, with norepinephrine being the presser of choice for non-arrest patients. Dopamine, vasopressin, and phenylephrine serve as second-line agents, while epinephrine is reserved for severe hypotension or as a last-line agent. Adjust infusion rates to maintain desired blood pressure. 2. Immediate catheterization For post-cardiac arrest patients, the decision to perform immediate catheterization is crucial. For STEMI patients, immediate percutaneous coronary intervention, PCI, is associated with better survival rates. However, for non-STEMI patients, the benefits of immediate catheterization are less clear. While observational studies suggest potential benefits, randomized controlled trials found no significant difference in outcomes between immediate and delayed catheterization for non-STEMI patients. 3. Targeted Temperature Management The use of Targeted Temperature Management, TTM, in post-cardiac arrest patients has been debated. TTM is the only documented intervention that improves brain recovery after cardiac arrest in unresponsive patients. Maintain a core body temperature at 32 to 36 degrees Celsius for at least 24 hours using a cooling device with a feedback loop. TTM should be induced and monitored by trained professionals. TTM should not affect the decision to perform PCI, because concurrent PCI and targeted temperature management are reported to be feasible and safe. 4. Full Body Imaging The necessity and impact of full body imaging, including CT scans of the head, chest, abdomen, and pelvis, in post-cardiac arrest patients are questioned. While some studies show that imaging can reveal important findings altering patient management, the routine use of extensive imaging remains controversial. Further research is needed to determine the true benefit of whole-body imaging in post-resuscitation care. In conclusion, managing post-cardiac arrest patients involves complex decision-making regarding immediate catheterization, targeted temperature management, and the use of full-body imaging. Staying informed on evolving evidence and guidelines is crucial for healthcare professionals to provide optimal care to patients following a cardiac arrest event. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscription button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below in the comments section.